Oh, hey, um, sorry, I was a little distracted reading some Sherlock Holmes. Um, this week, I don't have anything. Um, nothing at all. I, I usually record a week in advance, and this is a week in advance, but, uh, I guess you consider this lazy. I'm just going to keep talking here for a few minutes, and, uh, maybe you'll be interested in whatever's in the background. I don't know, like, say... A giant thing of ammo cartridge holder. That would make a really interesting and hard to hide geocache box. While it is airtight, holy shit is this thing big. Let's open up and see what's inside. Absolutely nothing. Closing is a bit of a bitch. This thing is awesome. I love this thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, found it at a antique mall, I guess is what you would call it. Fan-fucking-tastic. You cannot imagine the amount of interesting things you can find at an antique mall. One time, I was this close to going back and getting it. I found a gun. I think it's called a right gun. It was a revolver. But then it also had below it a shotgun uh, chamber. So you could put a shotgun shell in that chamber and blast that off. Excellent. It was fantastic. Let's see. What else did we get at an antique mall? I got this, which is called a humidor, and you would use this for your cigars. Now, I got it because it's just cool looking. Um, if I were to put fuel in here, it would be neat. But it still has got the spark. Fantastic. Um, I'm not sure what else. I, I didn't really prepare for this. It's just, I'm talking. Hey, I found something else. Fantastic, right? Look that up. It's uh, basically poison. Mind you, there's nothing inside of it. What else was there? Because we got a lot of stuff there. Um, I'll be right back. All right, we also got some pictures. Uh, these all came together in a set, basically in the same style of mucha. If they're not mucha, I can't tell. I'm not that good. So we got this one. That neat. We have this one. As you can see, my screen in the background too. We got, ooh, this one's neat. This one. And one more is this one. Pretty nifty, I thought. So yeah, um, antique malls are fantastic. You can find all sorts of crazy cool stuff. One more thing. I just recalled it. Before. And I have this. Let's see if I can get it out without breaking stuff. Oh yeah, Glenn Miller. Fucking love me some Glenn Miller. And these aren't like record records, they're for a Victrola. So they're like thicker and they have a metal plate in the middle of them. It's beautiful. Um, I was told that I could play this on the record player, but I haven't done that yet. As long as we play at 45 RPM, which we have the ability to do. Speaking of which, of records and stuff, I got myself a USB record player so I could plug that into the computer as well. I have a giant stack of records that a bookstore in town, antique bookstore, just set out in front of the shop. I really like records. Now, I'm sure they're all a bunch of crap. Like, a few of them are like some Reader's Digest records. <laughs> Who cares? Fantastic music. I, I love classical music, and the majority of it was classical. Now, some of it's Christmas music, and that's okay, too. You can do things with records. Uh, Kobo would actually fashion um, record face clocks out of records that were either way too scratched to be played or just records that you would not care about. And you can just redo the circle in the middle if you want as something else. And then you stick little clock numbers around. I don't actually have an example in this house. She made one for her father. 
and that's there. It's not here. She also made one for her mother's friend, and that's there, and not here. So she's made a few, and it's pretty cool. So basically, I guess instead of talking about nothing, what I'm talking about is old stuff is cool. Go out of your way and look around you and see what old stuff's out there. You can bring it back and look at it and do something with it. Now, I'm not suggesting cluttering your house with crap. Find really interesting stuff. Let's see. One, even look in the trash. Go outside on trash day. Look around at what people are throwing out. People are retarded about what they throw out. I was walking to work one day because I used to walk to work every day. And in someone's trash, I saw a flat screen monitor. Mind you, it was like this big and it had a tiny little scratch in it. Who cares, right? So I took it home to see if it would work. I hooked it up to one of my old machines. I didn't even have a hard drive just to see if it would start up and look okay and whatever. Yeah, it did. Fucking fantastic. A working monitor in the trash. Slightly damaged, but who cares? Not a big deal. I gave that to Slothin. He has a tiny, tiny, tiny little room with it. No room whatsoever. But this little monitor fits perfectly. He has a really nice system. With that monitor, he can work. With a CTR, that would be bullshit. He wouldn't be able to do anything. just want to talk about how awesome it is to find some trash. Some tr jewels in the trash. Go out there. Now, it's not necessarily legal to go digging in people's trash. Whatever, okay? You're not really supposed to do it. But they set it out there for the trash men to take away. Now, mind you, you probably would get in more trouble if you were to take someone's computer if it had a hard drive in it. So be cautious. There are certain things you shouldn't take. But there's still some interesting stuff out there. So go to antique malls. Uh, go outside antique bookstores and whatever. See what they're actually getting rid of because they don't want them. So if they don't want them, go ahead and take them. And look outside on trash day and see what's there really cool stuff can be found and depending on if it's trash as opposed to the antique mall it's free so be careful look for cool stuff and fill your house with fantastic interesting amusing wonderful things because this is your home you should come in here and enjoy and be in awe of whatever you bring in and when you bring people over you can have a story to tell about everything in the house. It'd be awesome. So this is Lauren Law. This is probably episode 25. <laughs> Again, I'm not keeping track because I used to keep track. I don't care anymore. So anyway, have fun.